view of the overflows, this is the left hand overflow. And that T actually controls a valve on the main siphon drain line. That left hand overflow goes to the final sump. This is the only sump that actually sees all 6,000 gallons an hour flow through the system. Uh, and there's a backup uh, drain line um, for that overflow. Going to the right overflow. That goes down to, and that's just some spare rock that's waiting for me to figure out what to do with. Anyway, um, that goes into a series of sumps. Uh, again, this is about 3,000 gallons an hour going through these sumps. This is the first sump. Um, not much is in there. It was initially set up with for a protein skimmer, but I talked the uh, owner out of doing that. Um, got a lot of pods growing in there, worms, sponges. Uh, there's actually some tunicates too, which are pretty interesting, but they're pretty cryptic. They just are covered with sand. Um, we have a calcium reactor and a cockwash reactor. Um, actually, that combination is uh, suggested by Sprung and Delbuck. Uh, this is the, you can see the orange drain line that goes into the first of the two lighted refugiums. Um, see if I can't get a better picture without dropping my smartphone in the sump. Um, it's angled so it shoots, so there's a, a baffle there that sends the water uh, from right to left across the back and it loops around going from left to right across the front of the back sump. And then the front sump, it's a little bit wider and it just goes uh, right to left. And you can see, uh, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see the flow, there's pretty good flow, flow here. Um, there's no bulkhead fitting, the, they're just uh, the two acrylic panels are uh, drilled and tapped so there's bolts just bolting the two uh, tanks together. This is a fancy, this is the exit out of the uh, front refu lighted refugium. It's just an acrylic box that's built to match up the uh, lighted refugium to the cryptic refugiums which um, are just heavy duty rubber made containers. Here's the scene from that first cryptic sump uh, from the other side. You can see the plumbing going to the second cryptic sump and then back to the final sump. And here's the pumps. Um, the uh, plumb, you can see the main, most of the water runs through the lower drain line, uh, but because this is all uh, pretty much level, just to help with the since there's no back, hardly any back pressure, uh, the second drain line is just in case, you know, as, uh, if there's something that might clog up on the first drain line, or the upper drain line is in case there's something clogs up in the lower drain line. Um, anyway, that's it.